good afternoon. We're out here presenting Zion Industrial Church. We're out here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be a powerful show here as we bring forth a rich word here from Orangeburg, South Carolina. And today on the God's Glory Real Show Television, please give it up for our special guest speaker. And she is a fireball right here in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Please give it up for Avon Davis. God bless you, woman of God. interesting things in John 12. Some blew my mind. And I'll be starting from verse 1. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll be skipping around. John 12 and 1. I'm starting from the Good News Translation. So all of us can get a better understanding of it. Six days before the Passover. Jesus went to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had raised from death. They prepared a dinner for him there, which Martha helped serve. Lazarus was one of those who were sitting at the table with Jesus. I'm going to stop right there for a moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. What blows my mind? <clears throat> Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead. How in the world the word of God said this man rose me from the dead and I get the privilege to sit down to the table and have done with him. My start from uh, John 12 and 3. Then Mary took a whole pint of very expensive perfume made of pure nard, poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. Let me tell you something out there in television land. There's no greater love than the love of God. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ himself went on Calvary over 2,000 years ago. There is no greater love than the love of God in the name of Jesus. Don't let nobody fool you. Jesus is your answer. And today's topic is I'm moving from death to destiny. God has a destiny and a time on your life. I don't care what kind of demon tries to stop the will of God. You got to remember who he is. Okay, we're going to go back to verses of, excuse me, chapter 12. Hallelujah. And we're going to move down to uh, verse 4. One of Jesus' disciples, Judas Issachar, yes. the one who was going to portray him. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. <clears throat> That's what's wrong with the devil. Yes. I just can't understand. I can't figure it out. And I know it's not my job to figure it out. I'm going to be real. Why would you want to be above the man that made you beautiful and made you over control over the music department? Why do you want to be over the creator of all things? I'll be so glad down on my knees and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, God, for singing about me. Thank you, God. I bow down to you, Lord. I worship your name. 
my God, I glorify God because you are a consuming fire that never loses a case. Yes, yes. Okay, we're talking about Judas, the one that portrayed Jesus. Hallelujah, okay. We are going back to St. John, we in chapter 12 and verse 5. Why wasn't this perfume sold for 300 silver coins and the money given to the poor? Watch this. Verse 6. He said this, not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. John 10.10 10 simply states, the thief only comes but to kill, steal, and destroy. But God said that he came that you have life and you have it more abundantly. Let me let you know about a wolf in sheep's clothing. One thing about the devil, he cannot pretend for so long because I don't know how his skin will go to burning. South Carolina, I am under the Ministries of Perfecting Zion Institutional Church. Here is where the mind expands and the heart is encouraged and every service is life changing. Oh, 14 years ago, when we was in the other church over there next door, I had a cocaine crack addiction. I had an alcohol addiction. But my God, in the name of Jesus, Jesus showed up on time. He didn't let the enemy sit me as weak. I'm here to tell you the name of Jesus. God wants to sit us as weak. And I'm so glad that King Jesus is on the throne. I'm so glad that he will say no. When the devil say yes, he's going to kill us. The Spirit of the Lord is coming in with all the devil against it. My God, my God. He's the only one worthy to be praised. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to move back down here. We know we in the book of John in 12. I'm going to go to the end of 6. He carried the money bag and would help himself from it. My mother, God bless her soul, Daisy. She said, Yvonne, every smiling face is not your friend. Amen. When you have a good heart, when you have the real love of God in your heart, Amen. you don't want to hurt nobody. Amen. You don't want to lie with nobody in attention. Yes. You don't want to gossip and backbite about nobody. Even though I had a drug addiction, God kept my heart pure with the real love in it. People don't know how many girls I cried, how many girls I begged, King Jesus and helped and little me. Every time you call the name that's above every name, there's power in the name of Jesus. He won't let you go. You might fall sometime. Me. 
Matter of fact, this word is real good to me. Because the word of God is going to stand when everything else fades away. The word of God will stand. Let every man be a liar. And let the word of God be the truth. Hallelujah. I hear my bishop say, the word of God is true and somebody a liar. Smiling, laughter is melting for the heart. Yes. Hallelujah! I don't take it a, uh, uh, I don't take it a privilege. Excuse me, I don't take it for granted that the Lord has allowed me to come before you and let you know that from death to destiny, yes. don't you worry about the tricks of the enemy. Yes. Stand on the word of God. Fast, push back a plate. I like to eat, but I know when they fast and they pray because I got to reach God. Yeah. I can't come up before God. People ain't do and say that they know the devil is a liar because everything that comes out of my mouth, I want this word to help somebody. Amen. It's not for sure. Yeah. I need the anointing of God to come in the building, to go through television black. Yeah. Any type of way he want to do it, I need him to do it because I'm not only concerned about my life, I'm concerned about the lives of God, people. That's what's wrong now. We don't have compassion for one another. The joy good things in the name of Jesus. But Lord, is your heart right? I'm so glad that man cannot see my heart. God looks in the heart. Hallelujah, man looks at the other pity. But only King Jesus can see the natural heart. We might as well get this thing here right. Amen. I did God's timeless blessings a few weeks ago on Facebook. That's another ministry that the Lord allows me to do maybe once, sometime, twice a week. And let me tell you what a pandemic praise is. We have to lift God's name up. Amen. We have to Give him an authentic praise. Yes. We can shout, which is good. We can dance, which is a beautiful thing. But God wants an authentic, real, genuine praise. Yes. Yes. Because if you got to remember the scripture that I just quoted just now in the word of God. For man looks at the eye of appearance, but the Lord Jesus Christ is look on the heart. He sees the heart. Right. Right. And what a pandemic praise is. Let me tell you what the Lord told me in a dream. I dreamed the same dream twice. If you can remember when I first started, I was telling you about the dream that I had because I wanted to know what God wanted me to tell the people. Like I said, I just can't come up here and do anything. I have to hear from God. Hallelujah. Because anybody can do a, a show. This is not a show. This word is strictly from God. God told me to tell you to uplift his name from the earth. And the Bible say in the book of John, my God, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw men to me. God wants us to give you the corporate praise for every day on time. Push everything back. The world needs to catch on fire. Everybody needs to stop doing everything that needs to stop the babies. Set the whole world down.
talking an unknown language, speaking in a language I never heard in my life. I felt a burning sensation, my God, moving round and round in my chest. When I got up, I don't know. But one thing I do know, I know that he is a resurrected God. the works of the Lord. I'm, 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 I'm not bragging or boasting, but that happened over two years ago, and I'm here right now with the glory network telling about the goodness of God because the devil thought he was going to bury me over two years ago. Crack cocaine couldn't do it. Alcohol couldn't do it. No man could do it. No woman could do it. No food couldn't do it. No house couldn't do it. No car couldn't do it. Nobody could do it like sheep. Nobody can do it like the king of Kobe. You got to remember in the name of Jesus who we are dealing with. We are dealing with the one when everybody say no. God will raise up somebody that got a heart to serve. And even though in the midst of my drug addiction, I had the real love of God in my heart. And that's what he looks at. I won't have time to play with God. I don't repent. I backslide many years. Even when I go in the tower like my bishop said, God put the tower back to me. I'm getting ready to close this thing out. But I want to let you know, I want to go to the book of Job. I want to go and tell you what the Lord said in Job 10 and 10. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ha, my, my, my sheep. Listen at what God said in Job 12. I mean, in Job 10, excuse me, 12. Listen carefully. He said, Job 10 and 12. You have given me life and constant love. And you, your care has kept me alive. You have given me life, hallelujah, and constant love. And your care has kept me alive. I'm getting ready to close it up right now, and if I ain't never tell anything, I'ma tell you this. Stick with King Jesus. Please, in the name of Jesus, if you don't know God in the pardon of your sin, I was a wretch undone. If it for the grace and the mercy of God, I would have had my family whipping and crying because they wouldn't believe I was gonna be in my grave. At the age of 51 years old, but glory be to God. Oh, Lord, I say in love with this year, I'll be 53. In the name of Jesus. And I'm going to let you know I'm going to leave you with this thought. Yes, we go through. Remember that there's purpose in your pain. Sometimes I know it doesn't feel good. I know you'll get weary. The Bible says, oh, get weary and well to it. I'm going to leave this with you. In the Lord, and lean not to your own understanding. And all that way, acknowledge him, and he shall, he will direct your path. We are dealing with the King of Glory. Once again, my name is Sister Yvonne Davis. I am a member and I'm under the ministries of Perfected Zion Institutional Church here in Orangeburg, South Carolina, where the pastor and founder is Bishop Darren Clinton. I want to let you know I've been in television land. If you want to get in touch with me, you can look at Facebook and see me all day long. I'm not the type of person who know your text. I'm not the type of person that I know your call. I promise you, because I got breath in my body, I will see what you want to talk to me about. You got to remember, 
when people ignore ya, when people look over ya, you got to take it to the King of Glory. You'll never leave, you'll never forsake ya. You'll be with you even until the end of the world. And then there's a scripture in the Bible say, if you make your bed in hell, you'll be there with you too. Why? You got to remember, you walk on the water, you rise the wings of the air. You got to remember, the devil is no match for God. You have a pandemic going on, but all you got to do is uplift his name. Shake the world down, stop the babies from crying. Put it in the sleep that don't want to do what the will of God say. In other words, I... Back in the Bible, they shut a whole country down. They fast and they pray. And the Lord told me to tell you, in the name of Jesus, you want to be lifted from the earth. And once you lift it from the earth, you're going to draw men to him. That is your word. We're moving from death to destiny. We all have a destiny. You got to remember back in the book of Genesis, we were formed from the dust of the ground. And God made a man and blew breath into his body. And went on from generation to generation. So in the name of Jesus, remember to love your brothers and sisters with a pure heart. Don't let your love be fake. Don't let your friendship be fake. Don't let nothing you do be fake. Let everything you do be in love for the love of Christ Jesus. Put the enemy under your feet. Hallelujah, don't you do evil for evil. For God will take vengeance. Remember, he will repay it for all. All you got to do is keep your heart pure. And love God with all your heart. And love people with all your heart. And be genuine in anything you do. Once again, my name is Susie Vaughn Davis. I thank you for joining me in my second television broadcast with the Glory Network with Victor Marshall all the way out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Hallelujah. Thank you, Bishop Jerry Clinton, for letting us use the building. This is, has been appointed in our time for God. I want to leave this with you. I love you and I mean it. I cannot be a pretender. I will not have fake love. I have to be real for the Lord Jesus Christ. I ain't going through this for nothing. I got to get my crown. If you want to go with me, let's go together. Our crown, the crown of glory. We're going to all see God. We're going to worship Him. When this old body leave the world out. Your spirit will go back to the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to cut off right now. Once again, my name is Sister Yvonne Davis. Thank you for joining me on my second television broadcast. And I got this little word that I say. I love you and mean it. Until the next time, my friends. Ta-ta! Jesus came on this earth to save those that were lost. And our mission today is to save souls. Romans 10 and 9 says that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died and rose again, then you shall be saved. And at this time, we just want to go into the sinner's prayer for anyone who's listening who wants a better relationship with God. As we say the sinner's prayer, please repeat these words with us. Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Please come into my heart today so that I can live in relationship with you. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you were born in the flesh, was crucified on the cross, died and rose again, and is alive forevermore. Jesus, thank you for giving your life for me. Teach me how to live my life daily in relationship with you. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of salvation today. I declare and confess that I am saved.